hello guys welcome to my youtube channel on webtech today we are going to be looking at how to log in to your cpanel without going to your wordpress or using the appropriate logins and also we'll be looking at how to log into your wordpress account without using the, the wordpress admin panel so here is a is a visual of the cpanel and how it looks like you can see this is the cpanel this is the login space for you here so but we are not going to be accessing the cpanel through through here we are we'll go through the name chip uh, we are going to try to use the name chip to log into your cpanel and you're going to see how it's going to work very fine so sit tight relax and watch and learn so this video is going to be very interesting you're going to see so as you can see here is um, the name chip dashboard this is the name chip dashboard so this is how it looks like you're going to ignore this side of the account um and one thing about name chip is it, they have hosting and they have also services for buying of domain and they have many other services as well but today we are going to be looking at how to use your name chip account to access your cpanel so here we go i'm going to put in my login info watch out Oh, well, here I see. Okay, uh, we stand with our friends and colleagues in Ukraine during this heinous assault on their freedom, their independence, and their lives. We are actively supporting our, uh, our resilient team and are doing what we can to ensure their safety. To support Ukraine in their time of need, visit this page. Let's see what this looks like. But that's not why we are here, actually. We're just trying to learn spice through everything and see and see what's up okay i think this is like a kind of a donation page i'm also just seeing this for the first time so okay stand with ukraine okay uh, i don't know let me minimize the page a little bit ukrainian pictures Let's see. Okay. I think let's just ignore this one now and go back to where we're here. So this is my hosting and you see this is a cPanel colon here. So I'm gonna tap on the hosting. It's loading already. So we are going to go to the cPanel from here. The direction to cPanel, as you can see. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page again. I think uh, there was a bad network connection there. Oh, it shouldn't bring me here. It's not supposed to bring me here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back here. Go to Namecheap. Okay, I'm logging already. So let's just go to dashboard. Okay, under hosting. same issue what's going on i think we're experiencing some bad network challenges here it doesn't want us to log in mm. and this is how the cpanel looks like this is exactly the cpanel but it's not showing well but i'm still going to navigate around and go to the the part we want
As you can see, welcome to your new hosting account. CPanel is, C -Panel is here to help. This is a CPanel account. Normally, it doesn't look this way. It doesn't look this way. It's just because of the network challenge at the moment. The pages couldn't load properly. That is why. So I'm looking for good um, you know, soft colors. Um, good colors. Okay, here so we're going to click on software plus app installer ah man what's happening it's not supposed to log me out now oh shit. okay it's clear now I think it's better than the previous version. Okay. Now we're back here. So there's there's actually a problem. There's an issue. There's an issue. It's not supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be like this. Okay. So let's just check on how to buy domains on uh, Namecheap. It's also very intuitive. It's very educative. You enjoy it. So let's say I want to buy a domain. Mm. Okay. Let's look at... Uh, um, updates let's check it out check out Does it confirm order? So it's always advisable to also include the SSL, the VPN, the easy WordPress, blah 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 blah. And and of course if you have a coupon code, this is where it comes in here. Yeah? That's where you can put it. And um you know. last page so here is where you put your credit card info and then you click on what continue this is it so guys this is the end of our tutorials for today have a nice day